All right. What's going on, guys? It is Friday. We are coming down to the end of the week, last day of the week. It is a sad time, but uh, hey, you got to enjoy it while it lasts. You know, last day of the week. And uh, we do have a few plays on our hand this morning. MTSL is looking pretty good right now. So I'm about to jump over uh, and go over to this morning watch list. All right. MTSL, what do we got going on here? So MTSL, per Yahoo Finance, the float is is around 1.7 million. So we do have a low float stock here. Do have a high amount of insiders held here that is above that uh, that 40% number that we do like when we are, are looking for uh, potential longs. Now looking at the history on MTSL, this is a former runner. This has gone on a uh, you know a spike back in the past. Let me go back here. You see back here in uh, 2018, uh, we did go on a spike. We opened up at $1.50 and ran to highs of 645. So it has does have a history of uh, making some nice moves here on MTSL. Now what do we know this morning so far, you know, we're doing about 1.8 million in volume. So we already rotated the float in pre-mark, which is really nice. And we are doing some uh, really nice baseline volume here. You can see we're doing uh, you know, 70k bars and pre-mark is 60k bars. So this is massive volume in pre-market for a one million float stock and a two dollar stock. So uh, so pretty nice here. Uh, pretty nice uh, pre-market here on MTSL. I didn't trade it uh, this morning. You know, I had some stuff going on pre-market, so I wasn't able to trade. And uh, you know, based on the price action, it does look like MTSL does have the uh, the algo bug here. You can definitely see. Price action definitely looks manipulated by some sort of algorithm. So, uh, you know, when usually we see that, you know, we definitely could expect some uh, some craziness uh, today. So, uh, MTSL, definitely be uh, giving this one a close watch. I want to see what it does at the open. I want to see how the volume looks. I want to see if it's going to give a morning push or is it going to give a weak open pullback. You know, if we do have this weak open pullback, I could look for a $2 dip buy. You know, risking this, uh, this 180 line. I would say below 180 will be the backside line. So anything above this 180 mark, you could definitely trap and uh, squeeze some shorts out. So uh, 180 is that mark that I am eyeing down. So possible weak open dips could look for a dip buy for a move back on up. You know, hoping that is the uh, the case here on uh, MTSL this morning. So uh, you know, we'll see what it does at open. We'll see the volume looks, see the price action looks, and uh, we'll go from there. Other than that, you know, I'm keeping it tight this morning. You know, less is better for me. I like uh, watching less plays. SINT, this was yesterday's runner. Uh did have a uh you know a late day fade yesterday on uh oh no, excuse me, I was thinking of another play. This one did uh die on off uh uh right around the morning, right around uh this ten o'clock ish mark. Uh just been a fader since. So we'll be looking for uh you know a pop on this one, you know, two twenty five. It's around this like two thirty, two forty mark, you know, we'll be eyeing uh for a possible sure. I'll wait for uh demand to peak on out. Make sure the volume is weak, and then I'll look to uh, possibly start in on SINT for some more downside. You can see, do have uh, some room to fall here on SINT. So we'll be watching that one. Uh, RUHN was another one. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be looking for a uh, you know a short on this one. Cause it did have a strong close. So when stocks have you know strong closes, you know I usually uh, tend to uh, you know avoid on. Uh, some of these plays, you know, I don't really like fighting this. Y'all you know, like the gap down, I like how SINT has a gap down. So uh, that's pretty much it for this morning. Just a tight watch, and that's fine. You know, less is better. Uh, MTSL will be my main focus today, and uh, SINT will be on watch for a possible short this morning. Thoughts on ears? Check out ears. I don't believe this is a former runner. Maybe it is. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Looks like it has gone on some spikes, but uh, you know, it's just had so many reverse splits that the numbers are screwed around there. Uh, let me see. Check out the uh, the pre market chart here. You know, it's a little light it's a little bit lighter on the volume side uh, nothing crazy as far as the one minute baseline volume uh, only up five percent so uh you know we'll see I didn't check out the news on it uh, someone in the chat said it news wasn't that great you know uh, you know maybe I'll give it a look check out the news 
All right, so it's only guidance. So it's nothing crazy there on on ER on our uh, ears here. So uh, and we got to see if it catches some momentum here on the scanners on our uh, ER on our uh, ears here. So uh, you know, needs to do some uh, you know some better volume and get some momentum towards us before we could uh, you know give it a look. But I do like the float you know lower and float here at 1.5 million. So yeah, we'll definitely keep it on the uh, the back burner here on uh, on ears. FC, FCSC, check that one out. This one a buyout? I think this was a buyout. Looks like it is a buyout. Yeah, it's a buyout. So that's just gonna go sideways here. Just gonna trade in this uh, really tight range. So you know, there's gonna be no play there on FCFC. Yeah, that's what happens, you know, when these get acquired out, you're just gonna, uh, it's not gonna move. So right now, we got about nine minutes, so we have some time here. Have some time. Let's see. So I did tell you guys, uh, today is Friday. So I did say I would do a giveaway today, so probably towards the end of the stream, I'm going to do some sort of giveaway. I'll give away some free money or a t-shirt. So make sure you guys are tuning in uh, towards the end of the stream. Yeah, we'll be doing a, uh, you know, a free giveaway. So make sure you guys are here for that. So far, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty exciting week. Are right, getting into that, uh, that fall time. Fall's right around the corner. This is when uh, penny stocks are, uh, you know, get really hot around this time. You know, fall winter is the best time to trade. So I'm really excited for uh, this market to uh, heat on up, and it's uh, slowly starting to heat on up. So, uh, you know, I'm really excited. Nathan, we'll see, man. We'll see. You know, so far, it's looking pretty strong here in pre-market. You know, I'd say until it cracks that 180 line, it's still uh, the front side of the move, so it could still uh, trap shorts and squeeze. And this is how massive short squeeze happen. You know, shorts had that mentality. It's just another pump and dump. You know, pulls back. They think it's done, and then boom, it will squeeze on you. You know, not saying that's gonna happen, but uh, you know, that's usually how uh, massive short squeeze do happen. And if you guys don't know, if it's your first time tuning in today, uh, we do have a Discord chat. You know, one hundred percent free. You know, links down below in the description. We have over a thousand traders in there. You know, great community. So definitely go check out our Discord chat. T two, yeah, T two did go on a uh, you know a nice move. Yeah, T two, uh, you know, on that day one move. And I had a secondary move today. Let me see if this thing's gapped up again. So it's still holding its gains over there on T2, you know. So this thing's been extremely strong. You know, it hasn't cracked trend the past two days. So, uh, you know, T2 can definitely, uh, you know, continue to move on up. You know, until this thing cracks its trend, you know, it's still in play on the long side. But, uh, you know, as far as longing day threes, that's not something I usually do. But if you guys like this uptrend, you like how uh, you know, T2 is holding its gains here, it could definitely continue to squeeze on out. So uh, you guys could check out uh, T2 again today.
All right, we got another five more minutes. And T2 definitely could be, you know, a short today. It's just I don't want to fight something this strong, you know. Two strong green days in a row. High amount of institutional ownership. High amount of short float. You know, today could be the top, but, you know, you really just don't know. On uh, on these high institutional plays, they're very controlled and they're tough, tougher shorts. See, each dip was supported yesterday on uh, on T2. So we'll see. But my 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 main focus is going to be uh, MTSL right out of the gates here. It's be my main focus this morning. Nathan, thanks, man. Yeah, if you guys aren't in there, go check it out. Man. I'm not trying to scam anyone. You know, it's totally free. Most people have and you pay hundreds of dollars for the Discord chat. You know, ours is totally free. Rob, yeah, of course. You know, if you have, you know, twenty thousand people watching it, you know, versus a thousand, of course it's gonna affect the uh, the volatility on it. That's why Fridays are usually tougher days to trade for longs because there's generally less people in the market on a Friday versus you know a Wednesday or a Tuesday. Especially holiday holiday uh, weekends are usually the worst. You know, if you have a Monday off. Forget about it. Fridays are terrible. But yeah, MTSL definitely feels like this you know, price action is definitely manipulated. Definitely does look like there's uh, some sort of algo on it. So, uh, you know, we'll see how this plays out today on uh, MTSL. Do you use stock twits? Yeah, you know, I I'll use it. I'm not the biggest fan of stock twits. They actually banned me over on stock twits. Because I, uh, I had, uh, I posted a message about my Discord and they banned me for it. And they claimed that I was pumping in my Discord, which I clearly was not. Clearly was not. You guys can go through, look at all my messages there. Everything's recorded and documented. I never, ever pumped anything. And if anyone mentions anything about pumping, I immediately ban them and kick them. So, I don't know what they were saying. Uh, they sent me that email and I was... Tried uh, telling them that, hey, it's a clean Discord, you know. You don't do anything like that in the Discord chat. And they just wouldn't hear it and they banned me. But eventually I got my account back, but... Just not a big fan of their customer support. You know, they're not... They don't want to hear anything you say. So, not the biggest fan of stock tweets. I mean, I'll go on there here and there. Alright, market is open. If you are open here, and looks like MTSL is getting this push out of the gates. And we have been seeing this. You know, I did... 
I did notice that recently a lot of these top gainers, like this past week or two, have this uh, this straight morning push right out of the gates. And they just keep going up and up. You know, I much prefer a weak open, a curl and reclaim. You know, I, I much rather prefer that. But looks like uh, MTSL did, uh, did push right here out of the gates. So let's see, we do have uh, support right here, right here, right around this 225 line. So we have a 225 line, a $2 line, and a 180 line. So let's map this up. So we'll map up 225. Mark up two. And then we'll uh, mark up our uh, backside line. So below 180, no longer in play for a long. And this is how we play, guys. We just play off our lines here. You like the 225 line, go for it. If you like the $2 line, go for it. Or if you want to be safe, always the safest bet is wait for a uh, you know a reclaim. But that was pretty heavy selling volume right at the gates there. That was pretty heavy selling volume. This happened yesterday on, uh, I think it was SINT, you know, uh, you know, it had this big def drop that I didn't really love too much. This is not as bad on a MTSL. So we'll watch it. We'll see how it looks if it comes closer to this $2 line. What is this, DRAD? DRAD is halted here. Looks like we do have DRAD halted at the moment. We do have a halt on our hands here. One million in float stock. Let's check out if it has any sort of news. So I'm not seeing any sort of news from the first look at it. On our DRAD. Let me put it on the bottom level two. I'm going to throw up another level two for you guys. Alright, so there we go. We have DRAD at the. Let's put this at the. Uh, put MTSL at the top and uh, DRAD at the bottom. Oliver, thank you. So there is news on uh, DRAD. So, Alright, so we do have a uh, some sort of catalyst there. Ears. A little pop, but uh, volume still very light there on ears. Very light volume. MTSL trying to bounce here. Did come close to that two dollar mark. I would have preferred it to come a little bit lower, but it looks like it is starting to curl here. We'll see if this is gonna stuff or it's just gonna uh, continue to push. Did, did form a uh, pretty big upper shadow right there. We'll see if it can hold. So I do see we have a lot of you guys watching. If you guys are just here for the giveaway, uh, don't worry. We're still doing that giveaway. 
So uh, we'll do that more towards the end of the stream because right now you got to focus on trading. Trading comes first and then we'll do the giveaway. So right now we have DRAD halted. We have MTSL consolidating a bit here. Trying to hold this 225 line. Did uh did have a pretty hard rejection right there, you know, into that pop. So we'll see if this is gonna uh you know pull back a little bit more. Other than that, let's see how SINT looking. This was on a uh, watch for uh, short potential on SINT into uh, pops. So SINT still needs, I still need a little bit more of a pop on that one before I could, uh, you know, get involved with that. Did have the, uh, the 235 line mapped up from yesterday. I was prior day resistance, so... I'll like shorting into resistance. MTSL having a lot of trouble around here. Here's RHUN. This was yesterday's runner. RHUN uh, went on a nice run yesterday. Gonna have some $8 resistance. Gonna have... Uh, Yesterday's highs right around this 838 mark as well. RAD. Uh, DRAD here, uh, unhalted. DRAD. So let's see if this is just a chat pump or it's going to uh, keep going. Pretty light volume on uh, DRAD. You can see pretty big spreads, you know, lower on the volume side. So I think I'm going to get involved with that. Yeah, you can see back at 630s on uh, DRAD. You can see just heavy sell heavy selling into that seven dollar uh to that seven dollar pop right there. So it definitely looks like it uh, has the looks of a chat pump here. Someone bought in, halted it, unhalted, and then someone sold the top here on uh, DRED. Let's see MTSL. So MTSL coming down to this two dollar line. I want to see how it looks around this uh, around this two dollar mark before I even look to get involved. I may look for maybe like a ten a.m. move, comes down to two dollars, reclaims two twenty five on strong volume, and then I could look for a a possible play on it. You guys know that's my favorite pattern, the wash trap and squeeze pattern. The initial run up, you know, wash out, puts in that trap, trap shorts, and then squeezes. So we'll see if that uh, pattern could form here. But right now, this price action and volume hasn't proven itself to me yet. Yeah, I liked how the tape looked, liked how the volume looked in pre-market. But since the open, just heavy selling, each pop looks like it's being sold into. Kind of like SINT yesterday. SINT looked really good in pre-market. Then at the open, it just looked very choppy. It had that initial morning push, very choppy. Each pop was being sold into, and uh, we didn't take any trades on it. Yep. 
Yep, uh, Gene, I'm still holding Eero Swing. Never uh, hit my stop loss, so I'm still holding. Let me actually give that a quick look. I haven't checked it out uh, today. Let me just give that a quick look. Yeah, so right now I'm up three cents on it. So it's kind of back near my entry. So I'm still holding that one. I told you guys that, uh, you know, until it cracks two dollars, I'm still going to hold that swing trade. Here's MTSL. MTSL slowly starting to curl on up here. There's DRAD back below six. That one, that one got crushed. So let's see. Last time MTSL did this, it got stuffed really hard. So pay attention to the tape. Yeah, look at that. Look at that big stuff move there. Big stuff move. Yeah, so that all the, all the. All the bidders there got just got crushed there on MTSL, so I am not buying into this. MTSL just got absolutely crushed right there. Big stuff move. We saw this yesterday on SINT. There's Eros, nice hitting the scanners. So MTSL just got absolutely crushed right there. Big unloading into that pop. Yeah, this thing, this thing is getting absolutely smoked right now on MTSL. Yeah, I'm in no trades right now. The only trade I am in is on my other account. I am taking a swing trade on EROS. So no trades so far for me on my day trading account. No trades. I haven't seen any good setups. MTSL, we wanted this uh, possible washout to $2, but look at that. <laughs> I can't be long in something like that. That's just a nasty, nasty uh, red candle. Now you have longs who are stuck now bag holding, so... So uh, can't be buying into something like that. So right now it is nine forty two. Uh, no trade so far, as I just mentioned. And uh, don't worry, we will be doing the giveaway. No, a lot of you guys tuned in today. For uh, I'm not sure if you guys just found me today or you guys heard about the giveaway, but we are doing a giveaway today. So we'll be giving away some free cash or. Uh, you know, a t-shirt, you know, whatever you guys, uh, you want. So make sure you guys are, uh, you know, staying tuned for that. MNK. Yeah, MNK. Another one there. So Fridays are tough. You guys know that, you know, Fridays are, Fridays are tougher days for the longs. Just less traders in the market, and we usually don't see uh, you know as many rips and runs on Fridays. Awesome, Dominic. You just heard about me today. Cool. Yeah, you know I do this every day. You know Monday through Friday. Yeah, I've been actually been doing this for actually over a year. Pretty crazy. We did take a little bit of a break, but we just kind of started back on up like two months ago. So, uh, so yeah, we do this uh, every day. And I'm planning to have some uh, guest speakers on in the future. I know I had Dennis on one day. Probably going to hit up Dennis this week and see if he could uh, come back on on the stream next week. So see if he gets some uh, guest speakers on. First, I appreciate that, man. Really do. So let's see. MTSO trying to trying to creep back up here, but just very tough after that big death candle to you know to get to get in this long. It's tough. You know, I really did like MTSL for a possible long today, but it just didn't prove itself to me. Sometimes you could be very bullish on a play, but if price action and volume don't confirm. And you can't you can't pull the trigger.
Ah, uh, Dennis, you are here today. Dennis, hop back on the stream, man. Everyone loves you here. You're welcome anytime. Dennis, you're in T too long. Let me check it out for you. Yeah, be careful there, Dennis. Looks like it's forming um some uh, lower highs there. You can see topped out here, lower high, lower high. Maybe it could get a reversal here, but uh, just make sure you have a stop in there, bro. CLRB getting a pop. This thing, I feel like CLRB always always getting these pops. CLRB, you can see a lot of uh, recent pops and it uh, just gives back its gains a lot there. You know, I'm looking around guys. I, you know, I really want to trade, but uh, just not seeing anything right now. Just not seeing anything at the moment. Don't want to force anything. Don't want to take any... Uh, you know, bad trades. I always want to stick to my playbook and taking, uh, you know, proper setups. And I did put out a really good video uh, this week. It's called The Trading Process. It's kind of long, but it's a really good video. Educational video, but if you guys have time, you know, go check that video out. Probably one of the best videos I made on this channel. It's just... The video is uh, just me explaining my daily trading process. You know what I do, how I prep for the day, what I look for. It shows you a lot of behind the scene things of what go what goes on, and it also explains you know how a newbie trader should get started uh, day trading. Exactly, guys. You know, that's that's not the type of trader I am. I'm not going to force anything if I don't see any good setups. You know, I pride myself on that 70% winning accuracy that I have. You know, I don't want to... When I go to journal my trades each day, I don't want to go in there and put in... I took a non-knee setup. You know, I want to put in there... I took an A-plus setup, a high-quality trading setup. You know, I do this full-time. You know, no BS. You know, I don't... I'm not here to gamble. You know, I trade with edge. You know, everyone here should be trading with an edge. If you're not, you, know, you got to do some homework and uh, work on finding your edge in the market. And you know, that's how you're going to succeed. Euro is nice. Euro swing looking pretty good right now. Still holding tight on this one. Never hit my stop loss. This is a technical breakout here on Eros. That's why I'm swinging a stock. I've been seeing on the tape it's a steady buyer here, so uh, continuing to hold this one until my stop loss hits. Exactly, you know, that's what I told people yesterday on the stream. You know, you guys want to call trading a gambler? We're all in the house. You know, the house always wins. Awesome, yeah, Dominic, uh, let me know how you uh, like the video if you do check it out. Jeez, Fran is still running? Thing is an absolute monster on Fran. I had I had some Fran, I, I forgot. No, I don't think, no, it wasn't Fran, it was another play. But I called it out really early, went on a nice rip. Here's Eros, nice. Dennis, uh, MTSL is slowly making some uh, lower highs here, but 
you know, I'm just not seeing it as far as the price action and volume. The tape looks heavy. Each time it pops, it's getting sold into. So it definitely looks like someone just created an exit for themselves and exited into these uh these pops. That's what I'm seeing there on MTSL. TPW here. DPW is turning into a big bag holder chart going to zero. Just getting like a dead cat bounce here. Maybe it has news. I'm not sure. Now I see some of you guys are swinging euros with me as, as well. So yeah, we'll see how this play turns on out. It's a swing trade. I told you guys, you know, swing trading. I have another account. Just trying to build that account up. My specialty is day trading. But, uh, you know, just trying to build up a uh, swing trading account on the side. DPW, huge stuff move there. See, just bag holders just selling into these pops on uh, DPW. You know, we don't like long charts like this where it's just gone on so many recent pops. You're just going to have so much overhead resistance. All right, let's see. Euro's little pullback. MTSL. MTSL trying to hold above two bucks here, but, uh, you know, needs to, uh, let me see some better volume out of this. Yeah, I apologize. Sometimes, if you guys are new, I do have some dogs, so if you guys hear barking, I have like three loud dogs, but I try to control them, but sometimes they sneak on up. <laughs> I have an Argentinian uh, Mastiff. I have one big one, then I have a small one, a Poodle, and then I have a Maltese. So I have one big one and then two little ones. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to grab a quick drink. All right, I'm back. Making a uh, Fiat, I hope that's your name. Appreciate that. Oh, you did advert. <laughs> Appreciate that uh the advertisement. What was that? Uh, precision day trading. Is that the other? Uh, the other stream. Yeah, I think he stole all my members though. <laughs> I I did this. I started a year ago. I think I was the only streamer here. And I had like we had like three hundred we had like three hundred people viewing every day, and then we stopped. So, I guess he took over my members, and then I guess I'm taking back what was originally mine. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Why is he delaying the, sh the scanners? 
That doesn't make sense to me. These are all real time. I pay over 200 bucks a month for these scanners. And uh, I don't know why you'd make them uh, delayed. This is all real time. I know YouTube's delayed by a, a little bit, but, uh, but yeah, my scanners here are uh, real time. And if you guys want, uh, I could put some more scanners up. You know, I could play around with it. I have tons of different types of scanners. But I know some of you guys like the level two, so maybe I could throw like one more scanner in here. And if you guys want, you know, these aren't really too active, these scanners, so I could uh, play around with it. Ah, uh, yeah, that probably makes sense. If they probably want money, they probably want you to buy their service and, you know, all that bullshit. You know, we're 100% free here, so our Discord's, you know, free. And if any of you guys are interested in options, uh, Alex, he uh, also live streamed. He's my trading partner. Uh, you go, you click on our channel, and you go to uh, click the channels tab, and he does a uh, options live stream. So if you guys are interested in options, you know, go check him out. He's doing a small account challenge too, so he's trying to turn three thousand dollars into twenty five thousand bucks. So uh, go check out Alex. What's your book called? Uh, not really sure what you mean by that. I haven't written any books. I don't plan to either. So right now it's 9.57. Things are a little slower now. You guys can see that. Not much going on. To Fridays, Fridays usually are a tougher trading day, and uh, maybe I'll do a giveaway a little bit earlier today. How does that sound? Maybe like 10 15, 10 20. Things are slow because I'm not really seeing too much. MTSL just kind of hanging on a thread right here. Do the giveaway quick. Why? If you guys don't know, if you guys are new to the stream, you know, Nick the winner has won the last three giveaways somehow. And, and it's funny, everyone thinks that it's me in disguise, but it's not. <laughs> you know, Nick the winner is a real person, it's not me. He just somehow won the last three giveaways, so. We'll see if he's gonna win this one. He's really competitive about it, too. <laughs> Nick the winner, go away. Oh, it's mean, Dreambox. That's pretty mean. You know, Nick's a nice guy. And there's MTSL guys cracking. And it looks like it's game over for MTSL. Really? That, is that true? They uh, traded just forced them to delay the, the scanners? That's really bizarre. Yeah, hopefully they don't come after me. I mean, you know, I think it'll be the opposite. You know, I'm probably giving them customers, you know. I have a lot of people who, who, uh, DM me an X for our, uh, you know, what scanners do you use? How do I buy them? So if anything, I feel like we're giving them more, you know, customers. I know some people don't want to pay it, but still there's people who DM me sometimes and ask what type of scanners do you have and they buy them. So I don't really understand what the, uh, you know, why they're doing that. Yeah, that's what I think. I, I, I don't think that's the case. Maybe. 
Yeah, yeah. I I think that's probably what's happening there. They probably just uh, want you to think that, so uh, they don't you, know, you don't feel bad. But they just probably want you to buy their service. They probably see that they have whatever 300, 400 people people viewing them, and they realize that you know people aren't buying their service, so they're delaying their streams in order to get people to uh, pay however much money they have for their uh, their chat room. Yeah, so guys, go tell everyone to come over here. You know, this is where, this is where it all started. Velocity trading. You know, been doing this for a year. So tell everyone over there to, uh, you know, come over here. You know, it's totally free. We have a Discord for free too. Awesome, man. Appreciate that, guys. Appreciate that. OPGN squeezing. Ah, uh, OPGN. GN is squeezing here. Really low float there, under uh, 1 million. They go on a recent spike, so it's going to have some overhead resistance here. All right, so right now it's 10.02. If you guys have questions you guys could ask, I'll be happy to answer any question you guys ask. Uh, it is pretty early. I don't know if I want to do the giveaway right now unless you guys really want me to. Maybe I'll give it to like, maybe I'll give it, an, how about I'll do this? I'll give questions for like 10, 15 minutes and then I'll do the giveaway maybe around like 10, 20, 10, 15. How does that sound? All right, sweet. Sounds good. All right, cool. Uh, so whoever wins the giveaway, just uh, DM me in Discord, and and you know whatever uh, you win, I'll send it over you. Whether it's money, if it's money, I do it through like Venmo or PayPal. If it's a uh, if it's a T-shirt giveaway, uh, I just need some of your uh, information. You know where you live, your address, and I'll send it over to you. So you guys gotta be. If you guys do win, you guys have to be in discord to claim your prize so what i'll do what i usually do is i'll a i'll ask a trading question or i'll ask like just like a random question whoever answers a question first wins you only get one guess Yeah, guys, and this, and you know, usually I will be doing you know mainly stock stuff on you. You know, this, that's what this channel is for. It's for educational purposes. Try to educate you guys and teach you how to become a better trader. But when times are slow like this, you know, I don't mind chatting up with you guys and doing some free giveaways. You know, right now you guys could see it's it's dead right now. I'm not seeing any setups, no trades. The Friday, so so like do uh like to interact with you guys and uh do a giveaway. You know, might as well give back. Ah, uh, Nathan, you can't stick around for 15 more minutes. If you can't, it's all good, man. There'll be there'll be a ton more giveaways in the future. Don't worry. All right, see you later. See you later, Nick.
Yeah, Shane, that's a great question, Shane. Uh, it's a great question there. Easy to borrow versus hard to borrow. Uh, does that influence you for a long or short position? For sure, man. You know, if a stock's easy to borrow, what I this is what I go by. So if it's easy to borrow, I tell people this to keep it simple. You know, I like to keep it simple in here. If it's easy to borrow, it's easy to blow up. So if you're shorting a stock that's easy to borrow, odds are that, you know, chances are that stock will squeeze because you have so many short sellers, you know, shorting. And then when you have, you know, big hands move in, the squeeze could be huge. So, uh, you know, I do like longing uh, easy to borrow stocks. You know, when a, sh when a stock is easy to borrow, I'm very cautious on the short side. That's a great question. It definitely gives you an edge knowing if it's hard to borrow, easy to borrow. Like, for example, MTSL this morning, this was a hard to borrow stock. So there probably weren't too many shorts in this, you know. So uh, the odds of this going on a big squeeze is, is less because, you know, there's less people in the stock to short on out. So a good question there. Uh, CPRX, I can go over that. CPRX. Let me pull up this chart. Looks like it is a little bit higher in float there at 95 million. Sheep sharp, pretty uh, pretty extended there. Did just have its first red day uh, yesterday, so we could just see this thing uh, you know fade on down a little bit more. It is pretty overextended there on the chart. You know, it did uh, peak there at 750. Had a big red day uh, yesterday, and uh, it's having a little bit of green day now. But uh, but uh, yeah, the chart's pretty extended there on uh, CPRX. You know, it's gonna have some support right around there, around that five hour mark. Five hour is a natural support line, and we do have our EMA lines there as well on uh, CPRX. All right, uh, tell me about the the red and green lines. Uh, you know, green would just be a buy, and uh, you know, red's a sell. Uh, pretty simple there. Uh, as far as the time it sells. T O C A. Check that out. TOCA looks like they had a big gap down there, so it does have a gap to fill here up to 286. Not sure if they had uh, you know bad earnings or something, but definitely seems like there was some sort of uh, you know catalyst that drove this down. Looks like it is going on a bounce now because that is pretty uh, oversold there on the chart. So we could definitely see a bounce here on TOCA. It does look like it has news as well. All right, so 10.08, I'll probably do seven more minutes of questions, whatever you guys want to ask. Feel free to uh, ask, I'll be happy to answer, and then we'll do the giveaway. Got it, yeah, TOC failed on the study. Uh, why do you not always see some bids on the ask in level two chart? Uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, level two is not going to show you full entire market depth. You know, if you want something more advanced, you look at something like Bookmap. I have uh, played around with Bookmap, and it's fantastic. I love Bookmap. I'll probably be looking to uh, resubscribe to the service. I was trying out something else. But uh, Bookmap is great. You know, it gives you full market depth. So you'll be able to see much more things. You'll see iceberg order, you know, hidden orders. So just to answer your question, you're level two, you're not getting full market depth. MTSL trying, but yeah, MTSL. Just look at every pop just sold. Every pop just been sold into, you know, since the open, just uh, you're getting crushed.
No, book map is not free. Book map's expensive. Book map is expensive. I, I forgot how much I was paying. I think it was like I think it was like two fifty a month, so it was pretty pretty expensive there on book map. So if you guys, you know, maybe you don't have the money, it's not the you know, it's not a necessity. It will definitely help you, give you an edge. But if you guys don't have the money, you know, you don't need it. You know, I could trade just off level two and make money. It's, you know, it's not, it's not needed. Favorite broker, uh, probably Centerpoint Securities. You know, great executions. You know, great, you know, great in the short list. I shouldn't say. It's pr it's the probably the best you could get unless you're using like a prop firm, but br a shorting just been getting so competitive like the past year. It's just crazy how you know how much uh, how much harder it is to get borrows in some of these plays. So uh, I'd probably say center point, but you can't go wrong with Cobra Trading, Speed Trader, uh, Trade Zero. Those are all some great brokers. As far as brokers under the PDT rule, you know, I'd probably say a Venom Trading, Interactive Brokers. You can't go wrong with those. Oh, uh, the minimum required is uh thirty thousand. So minimum is thirty thousand for uh for those first four I mentioned. Thirty thousand is the minimum. All right, so it's ten twelve. Do a few more minutes of questions and we'll get into the giveaway. Haven't even thought of what I'm gonna ask yet. You guys didn't think you didn't think the last question was difficult. I think I asked like how far is the uh, how far is the moon from Earth? <laughs> I think that's a pretty difficult question. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> it's Meester Howard, just a really uh, smart guy here. <laughs> Good question, Rob. Uh, kind of a brunette guy. But I, I like blondes too, though. Making Fia, I never seen that show. Uh, maybe I'll look into it. I'm looking for a new show. Yeah, Dirty Bond, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably say Dirty Bonds, probably the best out of those three. Sure, Trader, any good? Uh, it's a little sketchy, you know. You have your, you know, it's. I don't want to get into it too much, but uh, let's just say that let's just say the owner of Sir Trader is a little sketchy. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it at that. Oh, Rob, uh, I think Alex just recently saw that. It was, he said it was a uh, he said it was a crazy movie. You know, it was like elementary school kids just doing really bad things, like smoking. You know, doing drugs. It was. <laughs> Said it was an interesting movie, <laughs> but I haven't seen it though. Alex, I think Alex just recently saw it.
All right, it's ten fifteen right now. Uh, see a lot of you guys are. Uh, looks like a lot of you guys are done trading for the day. It looks like I'm done trading for the day too. Probably just gonna go enjoy my weekend now. You know, get out. It's been a great week for me. Uh, I think I'm up like two thousand on the week, so it's a solid week. Uh, solid week of September, and uh, I guess we'll get into that giveaway now that all you guys have been waiting for. So just give me like two more minutes. I just gotta think of the question. Actually, I'm gonna ask you guys this first before I uh, think of the question. Do you guys want to do one question and like one giveaway, or do you want to do two questions and I'll break the giveaway in half? So what do you guys think about that? Uh, Rob, for the weekend. I don't have too many. I don't have that much planned for the weekend. But actually, a friend of mine, uh, you know, she lived in Florida for uh, you know, a long time, and I think she is coming back this weekend. So I may hang out with her. I known her for a while, and she moved to Florida a few years ago, and now she's moving back. So I may hang out with her. So you guys want to do one question? Yeah, help me out with this, guys. Do you want to do one question and one giveaway? Or do you want to break it up into two? The thing is, uh, you know, if you guys want money, it's going to be less if I do two. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are already saying that Nick's going to win. It's, it's rigged. Nick's going to win anyway. <laughs> Nick's secretly sitting next to me. Uh, we're talking right now, and I'm already giving him inside info. <laughs> All right, you guys are saying one, so we'll do one. We're just going to do one today. So help me out with this last thing. Do you guys want to do a stock-related question or a random question? Yeah, if you guys want a t-shirt, that's fine. Just let me know if you win. I'll give you a t-shirt or some money. Alright, so you guys are saying... Uh, oh, I'm split right here. Random, stock, stock. Uh, I don't know. This is tough. I see you guys are really split on this one. I'm torn too. Yeah, Ricky's kind of right. We are here to learn about stocks, so I think we're going to do a stock question for today, and the next giveaway we'll do a random. How does that sound? We were going to do, no, we're going to do one giveaway. You know, we we would have done uh, one random, one stock, but we're going to do one giveaway, so I think we're going to do stocks this time, and then next giveaway we'll do a random. Alright, so uh, just give me... Just give me like two minutes to think of the question, and when I come back, we'll do the giveaway. So just give me a few moments here.
Alright, I thought of it, guys. Thought of the question. So I'll give you guys a quick hint. So I'm going to show you a, uh, a chart. And you guys got to tell me what pattern is this. It's a pattern that, you know, we've talked about. The basic trading pattern. So it's not like any secret pattern name that I came up with. So it's a basic trading pattern. I'm going to show you guys the pattern. And, uh... You guys got to tell me what pattern it is. Oh, Nick, perfect timing. So, Nick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna show you guys a chart with a uh, trading pattern, and uh, you guys got to uh, you tell me what is the name of this pattern. The first one to answer it wins, and you guys only get uh, you only get one guess. All right. All right. So, guys, here is the pattern. First one to answer correctly wins. Here we go. What day trading pattern is this? No one knows it? Not seeing any guesses. Come on, guys. Yes, we have a winner. Stock block, congrats, man. ABCD pattern. And I gave you guys the best hint in the world. The name's right here, so... So... I couldn't have been any easier than that, right? <laughs> well, yes, guys, this is an ABCD pattern. You can see we actually had two patterns in here. We had ascending triangle pattern. Then we formed the ABCD pattern. So you guys can see A, B, C, and then boom, D. Oh, uh, Dennis, you were right there, Dennis. Dennis, you came in second. Dreambox, that's the only pattern you know. Ah, you gotta work on your uh, pattern recognition. Yeah, so congrats to you, Stock Block. You are the winner. I think you are in Discord. So uh, just after the stream, DM me, and I'll give you some cash, whatever. Dennis, you had it first. Let me see. No, oh, I see here stock block had it first. Dennis, you know I wouldn't do you like that either. Yeah, Dennis, I see you sent me the screenshot that you had it first, but I'm seeing here on my end that stock block had it first. It's weird. I don't know. I guess my stream is just different than yours. Yeah, Nick the Winner finally, uh, finally was dethroned here. Stock block was the winner. Alright, so I see some of you guys are saying stock block too. Alright, yeah. Alright. Sorry, Dennis. Uh, give it a stock block. Dennis, if you want, I'll send you a t-shirt too. <laughs> if you want it. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so stock block, you are the winner. So uh, just DM me. And I'll, uh, you want a t-shirt or money? Yeah, I'll give it to you. All right, it is 10.25 right now. And uh, I think it's going to wrap it up for the stream. Uh, not seeing any more questions. Uh, MTSL dying here. Uh, I see a lot of you guys are talking about Fran. Yeah, Fran just doing Fran things. You know, this stock is an absolute monster. 98% institutional ownership. That's really all you got to see. With a low float, not surprising at all. Awesome. I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed today's stream. I'll be over in Discord for a little bit, so make sure you guys are over in Discord. And uh, we do this every day, guys, Monday through Friday, so make sure you guys are here on Monday. And we write, we'll be back at it again on Monday. So I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I'll see you all later. Peace.